Hello everybody, it is your friend Vic here again. I hope you've been well. I've missed you. It's been a long time, but we're back with another Caden Live tutorial video. So, we have had a major update, okay? So we went from the old version to the refactored version. I've got the um, flat pack version installed on my computer. And just a quick check here, we're at version 19.08.1, okay? Now, today we are going to talk about sound, okay? So I've prepared a short series of clips here. So I've just added in some clips. Uh, these are from pexels.com. I will add that link onto the show notes so you can download some video clips to play with, okay? And basically, I've just added some quick transitions here. It's a pretty simple video, okay? And sound, there's no sound, okay? So... Um, sound really adds really great effect to your videos if uh, you don't already know but um, I'm going to demonstrate how we can do some fade in some fade outs and how to adjust your sound volume within your video okay and I apologize for that I need to put my phone on silent all right so Let's add in our sound clip here, and we'll notice a big difference in the way that this video actually makes us feel. Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Anyway, we've added our audio here, and you can see the sound waves, okay? What you can do is if you're really trying to time your video to the sound clips then you can at least see the way that the track changes based on the sound wave here okay the sound wave graph anyway um, as a beginner one of the things that you would want to learn early on is how to do a fade in and fade out so that's really simple okay so we go to our effects tab here and I'm just gonna type in search for a fade and we're gonna use the audio correction okay so we're gonna fade in the beginning okay I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here and we can see this diagonal line okay so we can adjust the duration of the fade okay to be longer or shorter alright I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit longer so that you can hear it okay now let's see what that sounds like So it's quite a soft track, so maybe the fade in may not be as obvious. And um, let's say I wanted to end the sound right here. Okay, what I can do to add a fade out is to just cut. I'm going to use my razor tool to cut my sound right there. I'll just move this to the side for now. I'm going to add a fade out right here at the end of the track. And we see that fade out, okay? Now when I click on the track, I can see both the effects, okay? And I can adjust the fade out here you can see that line coming in and coming out okay let's play that maybe here we can hear that fade out okay there you go now if you don't if you want to remove the effect simply just delete the effect and it'll go away all right now I'm just gonna undo okay now the simple fade in and fade out works for just, you know, intro uh, music and exit music. But what I like to do is, if you've seen my videos, is I have a little bit of background music playing. Maybe there's a fade in, there's a fade out. Um, you can have a little bit more control over the volume. And the way that I like to do that is an effect called volume, a keyframeable volume. Okay, so same thing. I just went to my effects tab. I type in volume. I'll go ahead and add this to my audio track. There we go. Now this allows us to set specific areas in our in our audio where we want to either raise the volume or um, diminish the volume. Okay. So let's just play it. Okay. And let's say I want to decrease the volume right here. So what I'll do is I'll add a keyframe right. And what I'll do is, let's say from here to here, I want to um, make the volume go down a little bit. Okay. 
so from there I'll add another keyframe okay so we've got two here now this second how we navigate from one keyframe to another it can be as simple as using this okay so at this point I want the volume to go down by minus let's say 35 decibels okay we see the whole thing come down let's play that Okay, so the volume's gone down, and let's say, okay, clicking back here, let's say I want it to go back up again. So I'll do same thing, two keyframes, right? So from there to, let's say, there, I want it to come back to the normal volume, change this back to zero decibels, which is the original volume, and it's going to raise the volume, okay? So the volume keyframe is a great way to, let's say, if you wanted to, you know, add another track, like a voiceover track, you can add it above and then have that playing at a constant volume. You can, you know, fade your music in and out. So this is an easy way to do it without actually having to cut your track at very different places. OK, but you can also use the fade in and fade out. All right. So just a quick tip for you guys. Hopefully you learned something. Hoping to do this more and more in the future. Um, I'll include the completed trip, ah, sorry, not trip, the completed clip at the end of this video so that you can just see. Okay, may not have some volume, volume out, but anyway, this is your friend Vic. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye bye.